welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to crochet this clutch bag and I started from the bottom and worked in rounds used this stitch which is two single crochet together and added the zipper and inside I've also lined the parts with some craft felt and added the sides so this is how it looks so let's get started. I'm using Drops Muscat, which is moisturized cotton and a 4mm hook for this project. So to start I'm taking one strand from both from each of these skin and starting with a slip knot. And then I'm gonna chain 37 so you need to start with any odd number so I'm, uh, I'm starting with 37 you can start with any odd numbers so 1 2 3 4 and continue until 37 5 6 7 so here's my 37 chains and it's approximately 20 24 centimeter and it's gonna get bigger after the two rounds so now for the first round what I'm gonna do is skip the first chain going into the second one and do a single crochet into the second one and I'm going to use this stitch marker into the first single crochet and now I'm gonna work in each of the chains one single crochet until I'm in the last one so I'm gonna do 34 single crochet 1 2 and continue until you got 34 until the last one So I started with the first single crochet then 34 single crochet and into the last one I'm doing three single crochet so into the same last one I'm going to do one two and three and now I'm going to work backwards like this way and I'm going to here in the first one so to work work backwards you need to go into this strand of the stitch so we work in one of the uh, one of the loops so you've got another loops in this side so I'm gonna work into these ones so single crochet in each and I'm gonna keep these strands the small one in the back so it's gonna work in so later you don't need to weave in it's already weaved so I'm going to continue in each so after these three single crochet I've worked 34 single crochet and now I'm here in the first chain where I did my first single crochet so I'm gonna add two more single crochet into the first one so I'm going so find the chain and do two more one and two so I've got three here in the first one and three in the last one and now need to slip stitch on top of the first one so and slip stitch So for round two you need to chain one and this chain one doesn't count as a stitch into the same stitch you need to do two single crochet so I'm going into the same and do my first and then go again and do two so I've got two single crochet into the same and I'm going to put the stitch marker back into the first one 
and then continue 34 single crochet from here until you're here so 34 single crochet and then we're going to work into these three single crochet into the same one so now I'm going to continue doing single crochet one two So I've done my 34 single crochet and I'm here into the three single crochet that we did in the last chain. So now I'm going into each of it and doing two single crochet. So going into the next one and two. Then into the next one, one and two. And into the next again, one and two. And then I'm going to do 34 single crochet all the way and into the last two stitches I'm going to do again two in each. So just continue doing my single crochet. One, two and continue. So I finished the 34 single crochet and I'm in the last two stitches. So if you see, you can see that there's three stitches actually, but the third one, this one is actually the slip stitch of the last round. And this one is the chain one. So don't get confused with this. So I'm going to do in each of the last two, two single crochet, one and two and into last one, one and two and to finish off slip stitch on top of the first single crochet next two rounds are two rounds of slip stitch so I'm going to start with the third round which is a slip stitch round so I'm going into the next and doing a slip stitch and put a stitch marker on top of the first one and continue in each of the stitches you need to do a slip stitch like this and continue this whole round in each one slip stitch so I'm here, this is my last slip stitch. Oops. And that's it. And now I'm going to do another round, which is round number four. And I'm going to start. So take off the slip stitch and go into the first one and start doing another round. So oops uh, it became a little bit tight so here you go and I'm putting the stitch marker back and just continue going through the slip stitch and do slip stitch So you will see this is the edge how it looks and you will slip stitch. So you are going to do this all the way around until you are here. So I finished the slip stitch round and I am in the first one again. And this is the bottom of the bag. This two slip stitch round is going to be the bottom. And if you turn it this is the inside of the bag and we are going to work around and the loops that you're going to work now on is these ones that you can see so let me zoom so i can show you better so on top you will see these loops over here if you can see this is where i'm going to work a round of single crochet so now my yarn is on the bottom 
so I need to get it on top so what I'm, what I'm gonna do is pull the yarn like this and take my stitch marker off go on the other side of this first slip, slip stitch which is going to be here so try to find a spot and insert your hook so I'm going into this one like this I'm going to insert and grab my yarn if you can see it yes and just I didn't do it well here you go my two loops and now bring the yarn on the right side and hook the loop pull it tight and you do a chain one to start and if you look onto this side you can see there is this loop over here so this is the one one where, where I'm gonna work my first single crochet so this might be a little bit small but you would find it you need to insert your hook over there you go let me find this one is a little bit tight this first one so found it and do your first single crochet and put the stitch marker back on top and continue in each doing one single crochet so I'm going into the next I'm going to show you so you can see this this loop which is not the one I'm going to work but if you just see on top you can see these loops over here which is the back loop of the stitch so there I'm going to work find your you see like this and do the single crochet and then in each and then continue so I hope you understood what I mean so you can see the edge how it looks like it's a solid edge the bottom here is going to be like this and I'm gonna continue doing in each one single crochet all the way around and always remember I'm using these top loops that you can see when you when you here you can see this so I'm gonna work in each one single crochet and it's gonna look like this this is the bottom you see the edge so just continue like this so I finished the round and I'm here in the first single crochet I'm gonna make a slip stitch so going into the first one and do a slip stitch so you can see how it looks so now for the next round and from now on this is just going to be a repeat round and this is the pattern for the whole thing so what I'm gonna do is pull the yarn a little bit and then go into the same and grab the yarn and you got two loops on the hook send and go into the next stitch grab the yarn and you got three loops and yarn over go through all three and this is your first stitch and you're gonna put a stitch marker on I would call this stitch two single crochet together because it's quite like this and I'm gonna do a chain one so each time you do two together you have to do a chain one so I'm going into the next stitch grab the yarn got a loop two loops going into the next grab yarn got three loops yarn over go through all three and then to finish off a chain one so don't forget about the chain one because this is what it balances the stitch otherwise you will have one less each time so now I'm going into the next and again grab go into the next grab three loops go through three chain one through the whole round I'm going to do like this and continue So this is how it looks so I'm gonna do more and then you can see more of the stitch so. so 
So repeat until you finish. So this is going to be the repeat for the whole bag. So I'm finishing off the round with a slip stitch on top of my first stitch. So go into the first one and slip stitch. That's how it looks. So now I'm going to move into the next round and I made a mistake in the first round of this pattern which is I didn't do the chain one. So now on you have to do a chain one and then go into the same stitch and grab the yarn. You'll have two loops. Go into the next one, grab the yarn and do. You'll have three loops and go through all three and this is going to be the first stitch. So just because of this chain one, I'm not going to redo it. It's okay. But now on, I have to do the chain one each time. And then repeat the same pattern. You need to do a chain one. And then go into the next one. In two loops. Go into the next. Three loops. Go through all three. Chain one. And repeat this pattern. Until you got the height you need. So two rounds will look like this and once you continue you can see more. So just keep going like this and it's just to repeat. Once you finish you need to slip stitch on top of this first one and then do chain one and repeat the pattern. So I'll be back when I'm done. I'm back and I've finished this stitch. I've done a total of 16 rounds and then one round of single crochet. So now I'm going to show you what's the height of the first after doing these 16 rounds. It's a 12 centimeter. So now I'm going to continue another round of single crochet to finish off. So let's start with it. I'm going to chain one and this doesn't count as a stitch. And then going into the same, I'm doing a single crochet going into the next one doing single crochet and then in each of the stitches I'm going to do single crochet like this so continue until you finish the round and to finish the last round slip stitch on top of the first single crochet and chain one and now you can cut your yarn and pull that's it So now I'm going to be moving on to these sides. So these are just single crochet rounds. So depending on how what size you want to make, you just start with the chain, number of chains. So I'm now going to show you the measurement I'm using. So this one is 16 and 8, nearly 8. And it's going to fit this form. So you can see I made it a little bit bigger 
so whatever the size of your cell phone is try to make a little bit bigger and then this is for the curves and this is 19 by 6 19 by 6 and I'm gonna show you with this curve which is the standard size it's 1 2 and 3 so you can see for 3 cards so now I'm gonna use this drops unicolor which is little bit um, I think it's a thinner one and um, no, it's not written but uh, I think um, how many plies could be here it's a four ply okay. and now I'm gonna start with a 3.5 millimeter hook and make a slip knot and start with any number of chain to make the length you need so I'm gonna show you just by doing 10 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So skip the first one going into the second one and do single crochet and then go into the next and single crochet and in each you need to do a single crochet like this so you're gonna end up with nine single crochet as you skipped the first chain so this is the last one let me zoom a little bit I think you cannot see properly and now for the second round chain one and this chain one doesn't count as a stitch go into the same and start doing single crochet so you're gonna have nine single crochet So, so each time at the end of the round chain one turn the work and do single crochet in each of the stitches so if you start with 30 chains you're gonna have 29 single crochet in each round if you start with 20 then you're going to have 19 so one less so now moving into the third round chain one turn the work and do one single crochet in each so that's the repeat pattern so you have to repeat this to get the rectangles so so i'm gonna move in and show you once more this is how it should look So I'm, I'm going to use craft felt to line my purse and if you don't want to line it, it's optional, it's up to you, you can just leave it and uh, now before joining this I have to line and then join them. So let's start, so I'm going to turn the work so inside out and this is how it looks. That's the base. Uh, let me zoom out. So, and how I'm gonna do is one by one, one side by one. So, for this side, I'm gonna use this much. This is an A4 size felt. So, I'm gonna do exactly cut it and then sew it, and then again on the other side take another piece and do this exact same thing so it's going to be two rectangles joined into both the sides and for the bottom I'm going to do as well the lining so just measure and cut 
and then start sewing in I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna sew and that's it so you can first you have to weave all these ends so I've cut and uh, one of the side I'm gonna show you the size which is uh, 11 and onto this side is 20.5 cm and I'm gonna join from starting from the bottom and one thing to remember is when you join the top just and cutting the felt obviously just remember to have a gap in the last uh, last round so that it goes like this leaving a little room so now I'm gonna take the needle and you can see there's a little bit uh, side of the purse left don't worry about it if you got bigger one you can fill it but uh, um, the A4 size is this much so uh, I actually I'm actually not worried about it so just carry on the sewing in which side is it yeah yeah so starting from the bottom So continue like this and finish all around and I'll be back when I'm done I've finished lining the parts and also adding the sides so it's all sewing and now I'm gonna move into the zipper so moving to the zipper what I'm gonna do is a slip stitch uh, the purse with the zipper so how I'm doing is first of all you need to count the number of stitches I've got 80 in this purse I'm gonna leave two stitches from each end from this end two stitch from this end two stitch you can put a stitch marker on into the last two into these two of this end and on the other one as well so I'm gonna have 38 stitches on this side 38 on the other side because I'm leaving two from each end so now in the zipper you need to add 38 slip stitch in each of the sides you need to leave the ends while I'm not gonna join so only the sides so I've already done one side 38 and now I'm gonna show you how I've done it so take a needle uh, I mean <laughs> a hook which is sharp enough and it can go through the zipper so you can see here and now I've already done one side so that the side is easier but when you do for the first time the first side is going to be a little bit hard so what you can do is measure and mark where you're gonna insert the hook that will make it easier so now I'm gonna take the yarn and do a slip knot And you're gonna insert your hook aligning with this stitch over here so go exactly the same so after inserting grab the slip knot and pull so you will have this loop on the hook and now you're gonna insert into the next gap like him here and grab the yarn pull and do a slip stitch like this so you have this first slip stitch now I'm gonna go for the next one so I've already got the reference from this one so I'm gonna go exactly the same distance and insert again and grab the yarn And 
and do my slip stitch like this and now for the next one so you need to insert and do the slip stitches total of 38 I've done three so far and the fourth one so you can see now I've got four and you have to continue like this all the way until you've got 38 I've done 38 slip stitches now I'm gonna cut the yarn and pull the in now what you have to do is insert from the back close to the stitch and grab this end So now that's it so this is done so what you can do is uh, these two ends you can secure them so just tie And here just remember that you need to pull this one little bit and you can tie this one as well and then I'll show you how to finish it up now it's time to take your hook and join into the parts so for me I've already put a stitch marker on to the two that I'm gonna skip and starting from the next one so let me just So you need to insert your hook into the first one and into the first slip stitch and grab the yarn and slip stitch. Now go into the next one and slip stitch so you have to continue like that like this and later I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the in so go into the next go into the slip stitch and just a slip stitch So it's gonna look like this and this is the in so pull to keep it tight and continue the work so I've finished adding the zipper and whipped all the ends and I would suggest you to sew in the end of the zipper this one with the felt so that uh, it's easy to open the zipper so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.